In this video, we will learn about the organizational units. Organizational units in SAP system translate real life business entities into system entities. By assigning organizational units to each other and the underlying master records to the organizational units, the full business enterprises can be depicted in SAP S4 HANA. All business transactions are performed in reference to specific organizational units and all reports are analyzed on various level and combination of these. In this section, we will analyze the organizational units relevant for financial accounting. The first one is client. A client is the organizational unit and legal entity in the SAP system at the top of the organizational unit hierarchy. Organizational, master and the transactional data are maintained on the client level. The main objective of the client is to keep this data completely isolated from other clients. The master and transactional data in the client are only visible within the client. A user always log on by specifying the client. Of course, SAP S4 HANA offers options to ensure authorization for users. But the client is the most fundamental control. In the SAP S4 HANA system, we installed the SAP system in the client server. So we installed three type of systems. All three systems are different. They are completely different from each other. They have their own master records, configuration and everything. Because they are on the same server, they are connected together that is the technical thing there is no need to understand just for the basic concept we need to understand that sap s4 hana having three or four type of systems we call them as a client we also give the name of them like development quality and the production we may have two development systems but the question is why we need them because first we installed the system because we do all the development in the one client then we transport these development and the configuration in another client when we do the configuration one ticket number get generated i'll show you in the sap system so we can retrieve that configuration using that ticket in the next client. Here we will do all the development and the configuration. We have the ticket. We will import this configuration in the next client where we will check the quality whether it's working or not. Once it is done, we are satisfied that it is uh, working perfectly as per business requirement. Finally, we transport the complete configuration and the master records in final production site. So these two clients is for the FICO or the technical team only. This is the final production client will be used by the final end user. Again, I'm repeating SAP S4 HANA three or four systems. We call them as client. They have their own codes like 100, 200, 300 like that. They also having the name development quality and the production. We do all the configuration. All clients are separate from each other, but connected together. That is the technical thing in client code. We can do the configuration. Then we transport this configuration in the next client. We do the quality check. Then it transport to the final for the end user. If we found any problem here, we will again do the configuration here and then we transport this rectification in this uh, quality client. And once we are satisfied, then we transport to the production. This is the normal practice in the SAP system. So in any S4 HANA implementation, client is the highest organizational unit. So whenever we talk about the client in my structures, I told that organizational master and transactional data are maintained on the client level. 
so whenever we create any master or do the any transaction in in this client so it will not available here if we post any transaction in this client it will not available here and here all master are created and transactional data is maintained in the client level only i am explaining more about the client in business terms the client generally represent a corporate group or group of affiliates certain configuration and the master records details in sap s4 hana system are maintained on the client level only which means that the specific setting is valid or master record is used for the whole client it means let me back to this chart actually in this client we may have different companies okay so some configuration and the master records always create at the client level so we will create chart of accounts in this so chart of accounts is the setting i will explain about the chart of accounts on client level so i will create one chart of accounts in which we store all our general master uh, general ledger record this will be used that chart of accounts can be used in different company codes but it is maintained in at client level uh, so you should remember this i will explain once we come to the chart of accounts uh, chapter so you should just remember that configuration and the some certain configuration and the master records details in sap s4 hana system are maintained on client level which means that specific setting is valid or the master record is used for the whole client for example you can maintain a chart of account and assign it to the multiple company codes and when you activate document splitting in the client it is by default activated for the whole client and all company codes so there are certain settings and the configuration which is applicable for the complete client and all the company codes but some settings which is used only particular company codes that i'll, I'll explain uh, in different videos in coming videos so don't worry about it just remember those